I'll always be there for you. Any time, any day, any night, whenever, whatever, and wherever, just, just call me and I'll be right there. Mommy loves you so much. You're my world. I'm not going anywhere. Those words both ring in your memory and sting in your heart as you close the casket to the one who made a vow, a heartfelt promise that no mommy or daddy, no husband or wife, no man or woman in all of Earth's history could ever fulfill. When my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. You know, human nature has a tendency for all of us to lull our loved ones into a false sense of security just so they won't leave us, to make them stay in our lives or just to simply keep them coming back home. It's sad how we lie to each other and make empty promises, sometimes even from the moment our eyes first meet. Many of these lies, these vows, have been known to pack a hefty sized bag, taking a lifelong journey, traveling so far north to visit Santa Claus, so far east to visit the Tooth Fairy, so far west to visit, to have and to hold from this day forward, and so far south to stop at love, honor, and cherish till death do us part. When my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will adopt me as his child. You know, it's funny. We not only spend our lives chasing after people, love, money, possessions, wealth, power, prestige, and fame. But when we do find any of these things, even for just a brief moment, we spend the rest of our lives trying to secure them, keep them, holding them down. We become so engulfed and so distracted by them that we fail to chase after the truth. What's the truth? John 14, 6 tells us, Jesus said unto them, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father, but by me. John 17, 17 says this, Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. When my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will hold me close. You honestly can't count on anything or anyone these days. Not loved ones, not friends, not the government, not the police, not the judicial system, not insurance, not the stock market, not warranties, not even guarantees. <laughs> What? But there is one thing you can always count on. Mm. And that's God's promises. All God's promises are yes and amen. Hebrews 13, 5 says this. Keep your lives free from the love of money and be content with what you have. For he has said, I will never leave you or forsake you. Now that's a promise that you can build your life upon. And it's a promissory note that you can take to the bank. <laughs> 
not if, but when my father and my mother abandon me, then the Lord will take care of me. Psalm 2710. I'm your host, John Redmond, and this has been your moment of inspiration.